An East Alabama woman has been arrested involving the theft of $9 million from a resident at an Etowah County assisted living facility. Attorney General Steve Marshall announced the arrest of Lisa Daugherty. She is 54 and lives in Atala. Daugherty was arrested on a warrant by agents of the Attorney General's Medicaid Fraud Control Unit, accompanied by Boaz Police, Etowah County Sheriff's Deputies and the Etowah County District Attorney's Office. Daugherty is charged with financial exploitation of a former resident of Oak Landing Assisted Living. According to authorities, she was employed as a care technician, and her elderly victim was a resident of the facility. Daugherty is charged with two counts of first-degree financial exploitation of the elderly resident, one count for $8 million in currency, and one for $1 million in real estate. Daugherty was booked into the Etowah County Jail Wednesday afternoon. She is being held on a $1 million cash bond. The investigation by the Medicaid Fraud Control Unit was conducted after a referral from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Alabama. Northern District of Alabama authorities in 2019 announced federal charges against Daugherty but court records show those cases were dismissed a short time later. Two other women were arrested on charges of first degree receiving stolen property in the amount of $600,000. They are Brooke Crawford, 35, of Atala, who is Daugherty's daughter, and Jeranita Johnson, 52, of Boaz, who is Daugherty's former partner. Each are being held on a $5,000 bond. If convicted, Daugherty faces a penalty of 2 to 20 years of in prison and a fine of not more than $30,000 for each of the two counts, which are Class B felonies. Crawford and Johnson face penalties of 2 to 20 years and not more than $30,000 fines for their charges, which are Class B felonies.